YouTube, it's Tone, back again with another one for you. And so right here, what we have with this one is uh, the UCC1 financing statement. This is one of the most crucial elements of this whole game, to be honest with you. Like when you understand what we're dealing with is um, commercial in nature, then naturally, I would imagine one would graduate. Uh, gra what do you call it gravitate toward the idea that you need to secure your uh, commercial conduit and that's what this process is all about before you do all this shit you want to do a UCC 11 that's a, a title search it's a um, it's a lien search so you're gonna see if anybody else already has a lien on your all capital letter name which is your conduit to conduct business and commerce right this is what allows you to operate in a fictional realm so Essentially, you want to make sure that it's clear to begin with and if it's not then you have to go to court and get that get that lien taken off um, Or you or you can discharge the amount of whatever they say that the lien is send a send an instrument I mean there's a lot of ways you can go about getting getting rid of that uh, So anyway, what we have here is an example. This is out of the um, Redemption manual. I highly highly suggest you go ahead and get your hands on that that's gonna put you in a position to understand this game for what it is and it's a lot of reading it's a lot of studying you know you figure how many years did it take you to get into the fucked up position that you're in right now what 20 30 40 fucking years doing doing shit the wrong way it ain't gonna be overnight that you figure out that you've been you know how to operate in uh, commerce properly the right way you know they taught us the wrong way just so they could fucking win the game you know what I mean but at the same time None of this shit was ever hidden. You know, it's easier now that we got the internet and all that shit. So we can find this stuff quicker. There's people who've been studying this shit for 15 years to get to where I'm at in three years or four years or five years. And, you know, you can't, you can't. And there's some really smart fucking people doing this shit. And, you, and I really hope that you don't think that people study for four, five, six years to just get a, to just get a base understanding of this shit. And this is really fucking intelligent people right so i hope you don't think that you're gonna get to the bottom of what you're looking for in a fucking 10 minute video that's some stupid shit you need to, you need to read you need to study the only fucking way to do it or else you're always going to be counting on somebody else to do your to handle your commercial affairs and then you're going to be a fucking slave right so you make the choice right and so i'd imagine if you if you're watching this now then you already made the choice that you want to be free and it's only it's only by doing the work that you get free and then everything else comes it ain't about money it ain't about fucking mansions and fucking lamborghinis you know i mean can you get all that absolutely but if that's all that you're in it for you'll never be free because you're going to be a slave to your fucking possessions that's not what it's about it's about freedom and then so everything else comes with that right it's not about come on man you guys gotta use your fucking heads. So anyway, right here you have in the uh, in the name section, right? You're gonna have well, the name's blacked out there, but I'd imagine that it's in upper and lower case because you're the because you're the man. So just have it look similar. You know, take this take this as a as a concept and run with it. You don't want to do it fucking exactly like this. Um, you know, I did my similar to this, but prior to doing all this, you have to have a uh, security agreement in place and all that. There's a lot of work that you have to get to in order to have all of your numbers looking looking proper like this. Because when you're going to enter all this information in here, that means that you had to have already done it, right? So your employer ID, treasury direct account number, prepaid account number, post certified account. This means that you already did all the work and then you're just basically putting a lien on all the documentation that you already have uh, created and notarized and all that. Um, some of the stuff is not going to be notarized like your security agreement is private. It doesn't have to be notarized. You can notarize it, you know, notarize it on your own with a stamp, can't the stamp and you're the postmaster, you're the notary. A lot of ways to go about this, but if it's a private security agreement, um, you know, you make it valid in the public by entering this information in there, and then now your uh, your private information is valid in the public, and it also counts as notice as to the fact that you're now taking your straw man into the private, and these people can no longer touch it, right? And you got to understand that you're not your straw man. That's not you. So this documentation also creates a separation between uh, between you and your straw man. So when you go into court, you can show them that you already have the primary uh, that 
you're the primary priority lien holder in this whole situation and uh and they're just secondary to that so you're gonna need to get paid before they can even try to try to play games with any of that shit uh for whatever the lien amount is so before you do all that you want to do this here a ucc 11 form is used to request a certified copy or certified listing of one or many debtors if you simply want to browse and view information without ordering or paying for a certified copy of listing you can use the public browse database function which i do just to verify that my shit is still in there uh, the public browse function is free and you can link by clicking here so you can do that in your your particular state because this is all um uh, you have to do it by by each state right it isn't it isn't i mean there may be a federal search i don't know i never looked but from what i understand you have to search in each state if you're looking for something like that and you want to definitely make sure that uh that there is no liens in place before you go ahead and place yours because then you'll be the fucking second lien holder and that's not a good place to be you want to be first in this game to win so that's a ucc1 ucc11 gets done first right and then here we have ucc financing statement addendum because after you file that you're going to file the ucc3 which is when you add information to it that either shouldn't be in the public or didn't fit on that paper right so for further identification of secure party creditor and debtor see attached documents to be filed commercial notice uh, of trade name affidavit of denial of operating a commerce and declaration of, uh, and cert and cert certificate of sovereign status so what this is not so this information is going to get sent directly to the secretary of state and then you're going to request them to send back um certified copies which you're going to have to pay pay a fee for as well so you see how it's stamped here by the state this acknowledges the fact that they um entered it into the system and then you have a number here and all that and even if you don't get it back it doesn't mean that it ain't in the fucking system it means that maybe they didn't fucking just send it back you know what i mean but you could bring this into them hand it to them and have them uh have them stamp it right there in front of you and all that um just make sure that you know what you're doing because they you know you're always going to be tested in this whole game you're always going to be tested it's not that you're ever going to get to to a point where they're like oh yeah let me just leave them alone like mother i mean it's their job to fucking test you make sure you know who the fuck you are at all times and that you know how to operate right so you see see financing statement amendment this is uh if you want to go in and correct any information to amend any information if something changed right you're going to want to go ahead and send that into them and let them know what the changes were in order for them to update the documents and things like that too as well right so you know i hear a lot of people talking about the ucc1 everybody has a lot to say about it nobody ever did it right so this is how you go ahead and go about getting the um, information for templates and things like that and like an idea of where to start because uh, this is how I had to do it. You know, I didn't have anybody do this shit for me. There's people that will charge you to do all this whole process, but then what do you have? You have a fucking pile of papers that you don't know what the fuck to do with. That's not a good place to be in either. Now you're always going to have to pay these people to do shit for you. You might as well just stick with the government and be a fucking slave because now you're going to be a slave to whoever the fuck made your paper. Plus they're going to have all your personal information. You know who do you who do you really trust with all that so 